Welcome back to Renegade Reviews. Renegade here. Today, guys, I'm coming at you with a video review and also kind of a rant about the Wolverine and the X Men tour line by Hasbro. Um, but first, we'll do the review of the figure, which is Wolverine and the X Men's Colossus. Now, I got this figure. It was one of the first few figures I got in the three and three fourths inch scale of these Marvel figures. I got Deadpool first, and then I picked up Gambit from the X Men Origins Wolverine line, and Colossus from the Wolverine and the X Men line at the same time. So this was my second or third figure, you know, right in there. Um, and so I got the figure because I really like the character Colossus, and because this is the only way I saw to get him. Um, and then it turned out they're making a, or they were gonna release a Wolverine and the X Men, or er, X-Men Origins Wolverine Colossus, which I still haven't gotten, but... So this is the Colossus I use for now. Now, he's not bad. Um, few complaints with him, though. You can look at, you'll see this is Cyclops, and this is with a standard realistic body look. And you look at Colossus, and you see Colossus has this V-shape going on. Now, the reason he has that is because that's how it's designed in the cartoon, which this figure's based on. And the thing is... You know, it works with Colossus somewhat well because it seems like a way that his body shape might change, even though it doesn't actually. It's it's believable I can get by it for using the figure. Um the figure has pretty good paint apps all around. I mean the the silver on him is nice and the paint is consistent with what the costume it looks like in this in the cartoon. So it's very good in that sense. The only thing is like here they didn't on the, oh, I'm sorry, here on the joint, they didn't uh, follow through with the consistency of the paint there, or if they did, it's worn off on mine already, which I believe it might have, because I'm seeing a few traces of it right now, but, yeah, the figure is, has limited posability, it has a hinge right here on the leg, and that spins all the way around, it has a single joint at the knee that goes to there and comes back, no ankle, um, it has a waist, it spins all the way around, but no, no torso. Up here it rotates, but it rotates in a clicking ratchet thing because it comes with this gimmick, which I'll show you in a second. But, so, it rotates at the shoulder and it hinges, um, and then it rotates at these gloves or gauntlets. So, oh, and then the head turns all the way around. But, the thing of the head is, the head is on this extending outward neck joint, which makes it so that, uh, you know, the figure's head is kind of looking down all the time, which I would have kind of liked to have it up. But it's a good head sculpt and stuff. Like, this is very accurate to the cartoon, so I can't really penalize him on that. But he comes with this gimmick, like this, where he, uh, the arms swing down when you pull them back. And you can pull them back further so that they'll pose higher or whatever, but you know, it's a little annoying for poses, but he can he can stay in a few poses alright. He also comes with this bendy steel eye beam, which at first I didn't know what it's made out of this really flimsy rubber and I didn't understand why. But as I've come to find out, you can put it in his hands and it kinda makes this cool uh, effect like he's bending the steel, which Colossus would be able to do, so that's kind of cool. So it's not the worst accessory. He didn't really need one, so it's kind of cool that they give us one. Um, but getting into, you know, it's an alright figure. Don't get it, really, unless you're a f huge fan of the cartoon or something, or you're collecting that line, but yeah, you can see the bending sort of effect it gives. But, uh, I wouldn't advise you to get this figure because I believe you could get a better Colossus with more articulation, or just better paint apps, or a more comic accurate look in quite a few other ways. You could get the Showdown Colossus, you could get the X-Men Origins Wolverine single card one, or you could get the two-pack one, which will have limited articulation and a gimmick like this, but it'll be in the Astonishing X-Men costume. Um, but basically to talk about Wolverine and the X-Men in general, and if you don't want to hear my rant, I'd end the video here, and thank you for tuning in. But the thing about this line is 
they have so many problems where they just went with the children's gimmick thing and decided to do the easiest thing for themselves. For example, they all they all have these V-shaped torsos, which is yeah, it's accurate to the cartoon, but it just looks strange on the f other figures, like Magneto and Wolverine looks weird with it. And Wolverine like holds his claws, and then the quality on control on these guys is just in general bad. I mean, I've seen I've seen Iceman before, where the eyes that are supposed to be like there, you know, are drawn down here, and I've seen Magneto's with the eyes all messed up and the grin halfway across his face. It's just it's really bad with the paint apps. And they have poor articulation, so all around I'd just stay away from the Wolverine and the X-Men toy line in general. I'd stick to X-Men Origins Wolverine, Marvel Universe, or, you know, the Marvel Legends showdowns or something for your 3 and 3, 4 cents, guys. So, yeah, I guess that's not too bad for ranting and raving, but my advice with this figure, don't get it. Stay away from the Wolverine and the X-Men line in general. The the same characters will be made in better condition later on, if we're just patient. So, yeah, guys, Renegade recommends staying away from Wolverine and the X-Men. It's not a good toy line for collectors, it's not comic accurate, and it's not worth your money. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Renegade, signing off.